Just this week, Athens city leaders discussed whether or not the city should follow in the footsteps of fellow North Alabama cities and adopt a masking ordinance. This comes as Limestone County had its first confirmed coronavirus related death Tuesday. Way 31's Alexis Scott joins us now live in downtown Athens after speaking with several people who told her it's a decision divided solely because of people's morals. Alexis. Here in Athens, there are some people who are all for the masking ordinance, and then you have some who are just not the biggest fans. Now, some people say all in all, the masking ordinance could affect some businesses in a negative way. People will take it. They can take it in a way where they'll get scared and they won't go out, or they'll take it in a way as protection or a good way, you know. Muhammad Al Shaif told me right now, since it's not required of him to wear a mask in the city, he doesn't. <laughs> On the square Saturday night, a crowd gathered for a car show. People were social distancing and few had masks on. But several people like Chuck Gibbs told me it's because when there's outdoor events, you shouldn't have to wear them. It's outside, you can do your physical distancing and all that stuff. He and his friend John Ofterhar showed off their cars, but in the back of their minds, they were thinking about the effects an ordinance would have on businesses. They fear people who refuse to wear masks will ultimately refuse to shop local. If it's a non essential item that you need, you may not go there just because of that. Now, Thursday was the first time Athens City Council first brought up the idea, and we were told they still have more to discuss on it. But the city of Decatur and Madison County have adopted an ordinance. Madison County's is already in effect, while Decatur's is set to begin on Monday. But people do agree if masking is what it takes to keep the economy going and avoid another statewide shutdown, it may just be worth it. If this mask thing will prevent that from happening, that'll be good instead of closing down businesses and affecting people's jobs and, you know, they're re what they're relying on. That's not right. Right now, it could be days or weeks before we hear more on the masking ordinance here in Athens. And because the division of opinions is so widespread, the Athens City Council wants to be able to weigh in on all options before making a full decision. Reporting live in downtown Athens, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News.